chest right here. Eleanor, it's Captain Sir. Quite obsession with fire, flying with fire. Got the best of me. Hey guys, Dusty Becker, Cross Thunders Bison. Welcome back to the channel. We are at the Dunbar place. Mom and Kevin's. Here is the Dunbar herd. Oh yeah, I got them up here. They still can come in and out, but what we're about to do, Kevin's getting the tractor, and uh, we're gonna get a bale of hay, and we're actually gonna put it right in here where Goofball is, right next to these silos. That's our last catch pin. So we got them out of the pastures. We'll catch them in this, about a one acre lot or so. And then we'll narrow them down to this pin where we be able to run them through our squeeze chute and all that, which is right here. So Kevin's getting a bell of hay. We're gonna put it right in here. This is a two man job over here because these guys with the timing of the tractor, by the time you get in there and try to get out of the tractor and shut the gate, it's very difficult. So it takes two men because uh, Dunbar or some of them will make a run for it. Temporarily. Look out, peaches. Kevin's cleaning up, trying to knock out some of the weeds. All right, we gave the, the big herd a bell of hay. So we put it in that pen, so hopefully um, they'll come in there and eat that. The only one that we kind of worry about to Eleanor, her and her calf. That's just Eleanor keeping her distance. She don't want to get any traps, kind of like I explained before. But now we're going to do a little test run. I got some uh, range cubes that I always feed them. Put some cubes in this area here. Put Eleanor's bull up and we'll see if they'll come in here and eat some of these cubes. Which ones will? He's too interested. He wants to come in here. He's gonna go right down there. Let's see who shows up. Yeah. Go right there. But I think a couple of them cows will come in. Well, you could kind of see how our test went right there. The dominant ones came in here first. You've got Dunbar, of course. He's just curious. He he knows he's the boss around here. Actually, all of them came in here except two. Bell Star and, and neither did Eleanor. Well, now we kind of have an idea of who came in here. I think it gives us a little bit better idea of how to catch them, which is a good sign. Um, as long as we can catch them in this lot right over here, the two silos lot, um, which is where they're currently hanging out right now, then uh, I think we can get them. So it's just Eleanor is kind of the question. And something else is uh, Eleanor's calf is hurt. And um, I'm not, uh, it's kind of sad right now, but uh, 
she's hurt in a situation where um, it, it's her left leg and she's limping on it pretty bad, but I don't know what it is. So we're actually gonna... It's one of the things that we gotta do. It's ready to get worked, buddy. Huh? What do you think, bud? Got your crew behind you. Back the gloves. The cowhide. Sorry. No offense. All right. So, one of the things we got to do is we got to close this off. When they come in here, just like Eleanor's bull shocking, right? When they come in here, we need them to go down this lane here. This small alley lane, whatever you want to call it. But this shows way too much light. That, we already have conveyor belting on it, uh, which pretty much creates that tunnel vision to keep them going here we need to do that because when they come in here they want to spin around and uh, because they see the light they want to get back through this gate is already solid so we just need to put more conveyor belt up here and make this solid and a little darker so that they don't have this light we'll keep them going All right, what we did, put on some belting here. Got to finish attaching here. I need some more zip ties. We had to use baling wire, but Kevin's going to do a test run here on these uh, two young bulls here to come. So I've got the tub position right here. I got to shut this tub they come down. one it comes back out Here he comes. There we go. Alright. Maya. Anytime we start working animals and the metal starts making sounds, look who shows up. It's always Dunbar. Tail up, always blowing. Big dog. <sighs> Alright guys, now we're at the Ponderosa. Here's some of the yearlings that are starting to roll in here to this uh, maybe one acre, two acre lot. And um, got this feeder up right here from the Oklahoma Pride Feeder. 
it keeps them coming in here uh, where they can uh, get a little bit of grain uh, free choice and uh, so some of them more of a coming in this is the area I'm gonna have to get them trapped in uh, very soon so what I'm probably gonna do is cut them off of this and give them a couple days make them hungry and uh, then I'll open it back up and then I got to catch them in here and uh, that's just a technique we use we use this right now just because of the drought situation once I shut it off and give them a couple of days without it they'll be wanting to come up here and then that's what I'll catch them there's 22 in this group and so we got 21 females and then you got hoss so here they are they're making their way up here single file uh, they're chasing green right now because of the moisture we've had they are getting a little bit of grazing so they have been spending some time in the pasture i haven't had to get them any hay which is a good thing give us some relief as far as hay goes the other challenge will be big joe now every time i've been pulling in the pasture they've been chasing me because they think i have cubes especially in the player so um that will be our next challenge once i get these guys up in here which is where i was just at lock them up um, i'll be able to send them in a smaller area right here and then we'll be able to rotate big joe actually in here where they are so I gotta get them caught first, you gotta put them in a pen, and then I'll get Big Joe in them, get them in here, and then we'll be set. We'll have all the animals. We'll have all the animals caught by then. All well, sounds great, but sometimes it doesn't work out that way, but we hope it does. All right, guys, so we, uh, Brooks and I are down here. This is where the uh, pond was cleaned out. So this is our halfway nine acres. Something I'm excited about is I've been helping Richard uh, this morning. Richard came and we uh, drilled some two and seven eighths pipe in the ground. We set one, two, three, four, four H braces uh, with our down spouts um, and, or the down brace. Cole and I tore this fence out not too long ago about a month ago or so but we've been busy and richard uh, richard's been busy so he hadn't been able to get out here and weld well he started it today and uh, which is exciting because you know hopefully uh, this fence is done pretty soon this stretch right here it's not very it's not very long but we can uh, let uh, the big joe herd in here and there's been getting some water in the pond and whatnot so which is good but um just came through the Big Joe herd, and uh, they're hungry. I'm not going to feed them for a couple of days. I've been giving them cubes, of course, um, every now and then. But in two days, I'm going to move them up. And then on Saturday, we're going to work them, which uh, we'll bring you all that just like we always do. So I uh, hope you guys are ready for that. It's always exciting. This will be the most animals that we've worked here at the Ponderosa. Doc is bringing his system down. We're going to be working over 30 animals, and that's the most that we've ever worked. That's the most we've ever worked uh, for me as a bison rancher. So, <laughs> By the way, take a look at our rye that Kevin and I planted here not too long ago. Some of it I've planted back in August, and it took off a little bit, but uh, since Kevin and I came out here, uh, this rye has really grown a bunch since we've got some moisture rye and then some mixed seeds as well. Brooks and I'm going to go over here and I want to show you guys something. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is not the uh, post burn. This is a post burn area. But uh, my pyromaniac skills got the best of me. Slight obsession with fire, playing with fire, got the best of me here not too long ago. Well, I had this brush pile right back here. Not very big brush pile. Started at early in the morning. Afternoon, I came back, checked on it. I was like, it's good to go. It's fine. About six o'clock, two hours later, I get a phone call from a neighbor south of me he goes he said hey you burning uh you burning over there and i said yeah i was he goes well you got it under control and i said i thought i did first thing i did was call kevin because i knew he was close called kevin and then uh i had to haul butt over here i just hopped in the truck drove over here and um well it was getting a little out of hand so 
here it is right here <laughs> i don't know it probably burnt no maybe seven or eight acres uh this all these cedars right here it blew north on my neighbor's uh property and um kevin and i hopped in the polaris and started knocking a bunch out well davis uh fire department responded and uh they had two engines and an atv come out here and we knocked it out pretty good with uh their help of course with the professional stuff what is going on right here with their help we were able to knock it out pretty quick so so i stayed and uh kevin and i got it mopped up made sure there was no fire but uh just a reminder to uh be very careful with the wind no and we've had moisture that was the thing there was moisture that was the crazy part about this is there was moisture on the ground we had just had some rain that just shows you how dry the grass actually is and uh you can kind of see the the break in it right up there but this is still the nine acre halfway pasture i didn't want it's good that it burned okay we'll take it there's some green grass coming up but the other downfall is I was gonna put Big Joe and them in here to graze and it took a, a little bit away from the grazing. So if we keep getting some moisture, they're gonna stay on this graze patch, I promise you. So, yep, I know. I made a mistake, I should have got it out. And, uh, but my carelessness, I got the best of me. Luckily, it didn't go very far and we were able to respond to it. And thanks to, thanks for the Davis uh, Fire Department for their help too, as well. And uh, they even had some people on the actual prescribed burn too. Uh, some of the same guys that were out here um, responding to this <laughs> accidental fire. So stay tuned for the fall handling of 2022. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you soon.